And we're live. Good evening. Welcome. Uh, I don't know if you'll catch this on the night or after the fact, but we are taking a bit of a change. So firstly, it's not Wednesday evening. It's Tuesday evening. We're switching our evening. <laughs> Revolutionary. And um, we are also playing T2. Uh, oh, and we should say hello. I'm Jonathan. I'm Steve. Dave. And I'm Paul. And we are Board Game Opinions. You've probably figured that out by now. If you don't know what T2 is, T2 is... It's the most popular game in China. It's a card game, four-player uh, partner game. So you play like two people play as a partner, a partnership, and the other two people play as a partnership. And it's a what do you call a ladder climbing game? So it's if you've been watching the Queen's Gambit, you know you get those scenes of like all the old people sat like in Russia in the park playing chess. Tichu has the same status in China. So you'll find people like old guys will just sit on the street corner and play T2 for hours and hours. It's one of those games you can just sit and play all day and um, it's engaging, but doesn't require too much thought. So you can kind of while away the hours. Backgammon might fall into a similar um, genre, if you like. Anyway, yeah. we're going to have a go. I've played it quite a lot. I really like it. But um, at least one of us hasn't played it. Who hasn't played it? That'd be me. <laughs> so we're going to explain the rules to Paul because he's never played. So if you don't know what T2 is or how to play, then just watch and you will find out. I think Steve's actually going to give us a... Yeah, so I'm going to share the screen just so you can see all the cards in play. You'll see some of the cards in front of you, but if I share my screen... Oh, well, that's going uh, to mess with... Um... Yeah, can everyone see that? Uh, so they won't be able to see that on the stream. Can you send me the link in Zoom, Steve? Yeah, sure. I will... Copy, so I will stop sharing. That the might screen. be better. Let me find. Where's yeah. my Zoom? Steve's Hello. sharing there. Uh, chat. Right. Okay. And I've maximized the photo. So if you go like a bit part way down, it gives you a photo of the whole deck. How to play Teach You. Oh, yeah. All right. So now everyone can see. Yeah. So you can share so, it now, and it should be all right. Okay. So share screen. So uh, basically, um, you've got what, what, what constitutes very similar to a Western deck of cards. You've got of oh, two through ace of four different suits. They've got different names. You've got like pagodas and swords and emeralds or whatever. I can't remember the exact names of it, but you've got black, red, blue, and green effectively. Um, and it's exactly the same as 52 cards, but there's also four additional cards um, at the top, which I'll go through in a sec. Uh, but the way it works is you get dealt 14 cards. All the cards will be dealt. Um, there's something that happens after you dealt nine cards, but I'll go through that in a bit as well. Um, but the idea is it's a partnership game. So you're partnered with people at the other side of the table from you. So and the current game we're playing, uh, I'm partnered with Paul and Dave's partnered with Jonathan. We're the red team, Paul, Dave and Jonathan are the black team. And what you're trying to do is first to 1,000 points and you'll score points by playing tricks and winning certain cards. But the first team to get to 1,000 points wins. And if you get there on the same game, it's whoever's got the most points win. So if we, if on the same hand we're both on nine hundred and we both finish over a thousand, it's whoever's got the highest over a thousand at that point. Um, uh, but the way it works is you get dealt fourteen cards, and at the very start of the game, you pick three cards in your hand that you do not want, and you pass one of those cards to each other player, and you will get the cards from the other players once you pass yours, and you will get a fresh hand. So basically, the idea is you're going to give two rubbish cards away to your opponents and maybe a card you don't know want, want that isn't rubbish to your teammate or something like that and hopefully get three cards back. Um, and then you start. The person who has the uh, the one, you can see at the top, the four special cards, the person Mar who has the one, the Mahjong Mar tile, um, gets to start, but they don't need to start with that card. Um, and on your turn, you start a trick by playing a card or combination of cards and then for the rest of that trick, everyone playing to that trick has to play the same sort of combination identically. Well, so, uh, so. so for example, if I start the round with a pair of fours, uh, they can be you know, for two fours of different suits. Um, and I start the round with a pair of fours, which means this round is pairs only. So the next person on the, the, the turn has the option of beating it by playing a higher pair or passing. There is a third option. I'll come back to that in a sec. So you can beat the pair of fours with a pair of sixes and then with a pair of tens and a pair of kings and so on, all the way up to uh, a pair of aces. Um, and when three people have passed, you don't have to beat it if you can. And I believe, Jonathan, you can come back in, can't you? You can, yeah. 
Yeah. So if I pass over a pair of fours with my pair of kings, and then it comes back round to me, and it's up to a pair of jacks, I can then play my pair of kings uh, to try and win the trick. One of the things you've got, you've got, you generally, it's not a bad thing to to try and win a trick your partner's winning, but it's probably not always the thing you should be doing. So sometimes your partner will be winning a trick. There's no need for you to beat their cards because. Um, you might want them to win the trick for whatever reason, or you might want to save your high cards. Um, and then at the end of that trick, you will the person who won that trick will take all the cards played in that trick. Some of those cards will be worth points and some won't. And then they will put them face down. They will lead to the next trick. The things you can lead with are single cards, or any single card. If you lead with the Mahjong tile, it constitutes a one. If you lead with the Phoenix, it constitutes as a 1.5. Uh, but I'll come back to exactly what the Phoenix does. And any other card, I could lead with a five or an eight or whatever. You can lead with pairs. You can lead with three of a kind. You can lead with a run of three or more cards. You can lead with a pair of runs. What I mean by that is two fours, two fives, two sixes, or two sevens, two eights, two nines, two tens, or whatever. If I lead with a, a run of four, all the runs that get played that round have to be four cards long. So when I say the type of thing that follows suit is effectively identical it just means that the length has to be the same and the number of cards played has to be the same but there also has to be high you can't play a lower pair on a pair you can't play a lower run on a run if that makes sense um and what you're trying to do is you're trying to win certain uh, cards in the trick so basically uh, every king in every 10 is worth 10 points we will remind you the first few times they get played on a trick um, just to keep you in mind. Every five is worth five points. The dragon is worth 25 points. That's the top right card. And the phoenix is worth negative 25 points. So if you win a trick with a phoenix, then you lose 25 points, uh, if that makes sense. So basically, each round, there's 100 points up for grabs, um, plus a bit more, potentially, because if you, if you win all of the point cards, you'll score 100. But if you win all of the point cards bar the phoenix, you'll score 100 and uh, 25 and they will score negative 25 okay does that make sense yep yeah there are four special cards we've already talked about the mahjong tile of one uh there's two things one it tells you you can start the game so whoever has that will be going first uh you can pass that so you can let your partner go first if you pass it to them um and you can you can put that on the bottom of a run so it's the only one that can start with a one you can go one two three four five or whatever the other thing you can do with the Mahjong tile is you can make a wish. Now, I'm, I think this is optional, uh, or maybe not. Maybe it's not optional. We'll find out as we play. But when you make a wish... I don't think it's optional. I think you do have yeah. to. So when you make a wish, I will play the Mahjong. When you play it, as either by itself or as part of a run or whatever, you can't play, obviously you can't play it as part of a pair. Uh, oh, you probably can, actually, but I'll come back to that. Um, when you play it, you may make a wish. And when you make a wish, you call out a particular rank and the next person has to play one of that rank if they legally can. If they can't, the wish stays in play. The person after has to play one of that rank if they legally can, and so on around the table. So I, I might say I play the one, and I might say 10, forcing the next person to play a 10 if they have, and then maybe my partner can win that 10 or whatever, if that makes sense. So that's what the one does. You have to make a wish, and the wish is still valid for as long as it's not fulfilled. So if you legally can, with any combination of cards, play to a trick with that card, you, you're forced to do so, I believe. Is that saying that if it gets back round to you? In the you next have to round, do it, yes. Yeah, yeah, you would have to do it. So potentially, if I say one and then I say you have to play an eight, it's probably someone's going to play an eight before it gets back to me. But it could go one. The next person might not have an eight. They might play a nine which means the wish is in play, but it can't be fulfilled this round, which means if the trick is ended, the next trick has to start with an eight if they have one. So you have to play an eight if you've got one. Uh, whatever. The little, the, the pair of dogs, These this is a very weird card. It doesn't start a trick. When you play that, the trick immediately ends and your partner starts the next trick. So playing you that card passes just, the lead to your partner. Just to be clear, the dog can only be led. So you yeah, cannot apologies. play it following any other card. Yeah, so you when you play the dog, you play it because it's your turn to lead. And when you play it, it instantly goes away and your partner gets the turn to lead. So potentially you're passing the lead to your partner. 
which means you can never play the dog if you never get to lead. So if you never get to a point where you've won a trick and, and leads to the next one, you can never play the dog. The dog is good and bad. It can help your partner get rid of cards. But if you're stuck with it near the end, it's very hard to get rid of. You've got the Phoenix, which is the one on the left. This is worth negative 25 points, and this is a joker. The Phoenix can count as any card as you any card you want, and it counts as that card plus a half as well. So if you're playing uh if you're playing it over an eight, it will count as an eight and a half. If you're playing it over an ace, it will count as an ace and a half. If you're playing it as part of a run, it will ca- count as the card in that run. If you're playing it as part of a pair, it will count as a card in that pair. So the Phoenix is 1.5 if you lead it off the bat, which you almost certainly will never do. Um, but it will be effectively a wild card. So the Phoenix is one of the two cards in the game that beat an ace. A Phoenix cannot be a dragon. A dragon will be uh, any individual card. It's the highest individual card. It's higher than an ace. It's higher than a Phoenix, which is counting as an ace and a half. Um, uh, and it can only be played as an individual card. Yeah, that's right. However, when you play the dragon, you uh, if it wins the trick, you have to give the lead away to an opponent of your choice. So when you play the dragon and you win the trick, so maybe some points in the trick, and I go, ha, dragon, I'm going to win this, and the, and no one beats it because there is a way, there is a way to beat it. Um, you win the trick, and then you say, okay, right, uh, Jonathan, you can have the lead or whichever of your opponents you want to give the lead to. So you have to forfeit the lead if it's not beaten. How can you beat the highest card in the deck, you say? Well, there is uh, something called a bomb, and we'll see how the timing works, but you can play a bomb at any time, even when it's not your turn. And a bomb is four of a kind or a straight flush in poker, so five in a row of the same suit. And when you play a bomb, it immediately wins the trick. Okay, unless someone plays a better bomb. A better bomb is a bomb with more cards in it. Sorry, higher cards in it or more cards in it. So a higher four of a kind will be a lower four of a kind. A straight flush will beat four of a kind. Think poker. And a higher straight flush will beat a lower straight flush. So the, the best bomb in the game is 10 jack, queen, king, ace of the same suit. If it's not the and same suit... Be, yeah. And it yeah. beats a dragon. It's it's basically it. You literally bomb the trick. You you go. Uh, you just play the dragon. There's a lot of points in that trick. I'm going to bomb that, and I'm not going. I'm also going to get your dragon. I'm also going to get all the points your dragon was winning, and I'm going to uh, retain the lead because it's only if you win the uh, uh, if the dragon wins the trick is the only time you have to give the lead away. So if you win yeah. the dragon with a bomb, you don't have to give the lead away, and the dragon's worth twenty five points. I'm just going to stop the share there so that our videos come back because I think people have got the idea of the okay. deck. Uh, okay, so that's the game. And we are playing in a round. And the, the the round ends when two when one team finishes. And that's basically when, if I was playing as Paul, if I run out of my cards and then Jonathan runs out of his and then Paul runs out of his, the round will end with Dave having cards left. Even if Dave's got some cards in there that might score some points, he can't continue. Um, the round will end and you will tot up your scores as you're going. I think it's going to do it as we're going uh, on Board Game Arena. Um, and then you would start a new round and you would deal it again. And theory, if you were playing with a deck of cards, the person who won the, who ended the last round first is the winner. And they would deal the next game out. But there are two uh, ways to increase the amount of points you've got. You can call Teach You or you can call Grand Teach You. Now, Teach You, you can do at any point before you've played your... Um, uh, uh, before you've played your first card, I believe. That's right, yeah. So before you've played your first card, you can call Teach You. So you can call Teach You after a few cards have been played, as long as you haven't played. And when you call Teach You, you will get 100 points if you are the first person to finish. So if your partner finishes ahead of you, that doesn't work. If anyone else finishes their you, that doesn't work. If you're right, if you win that teach you, you will gain 100 points to your team. If you are wrong, you will lose 100 points. 400. 100. So it's 100. But you're betting 100 points to say you're out first. And so if my partner bets teach you, even if I've got a good hand, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do my best to let him out first. And I'll beat Jonathan and Dave's, but I will not be beating Paul's or whatever. 
You can also call Grand Teach You, which is the same thing. It's 200 points for finishing first, but you can only call Grand Teach You after you've seen nine of your 14 cards. So you'll notice that the current game we're playing, uh, we've got the opportunity, although Paul seems to have already passed that opportunity. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's eight cards, because that's how many we have. Oh, but it, apologies. Before you draw your ninth, then. Yeah, absolutely right. Before you draw your ninth, you've got the opportunity to call Grand Teach You. And Grand Teach You is the same thing, 200 points, uh, but you lose those 200 if you're wrong, and you win those 200 if you're right. I think if, we'll say, yeah. just for the first few games... We will not call teach you. No teach you's or grand teach you. So we'll just automatically pass that and get the hang of the game. And then once we know what we're doing, we can potentially do the teach you things. Okay. Um, and that's it. So basically, you'll, you'll notice there's a G and T on uh, when I say we should, should have all our cards now. So there's a G and T uh, on the side, but the T, the G's gone. So you, I think you are dragging your cards to the people you're passing to. Now this is we're on board game arena here, and this yeah. is um it's in alpha, is that right? Yes. So you can't actually play this as a punter at the moment. It's still kind of in test mode. Um, but uh, once it's all good to go, then this will become a live game, and anyone can go to board game arena and play it. We're just testing it out. So yeah, I can on my screen as you can see here, I've got spots for Steve, Dave, and Paul. And I need to drag cards to the appropriate spot. Now I'm going to give that. Who's my partner? Me. Dave. Okay, so I'll give that one to Steve. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to give that one. Oh, you can't drag it. No, you just click it in order, I think. Click. Oh, so I don't want to do that. Reset choices. Yeah. So I, I want got, to do you, that you one to Steve. Steve. Dave, Paul. Then I'll give Dave a decent card. Um, let's start with. Hmm. Oh, this is this is tricky. This. I think I'm going to give him that one actually, because of this. If you can see my screen, this this combination here is is handy. And then I'm going to give that one away. Although obviously I'm going to get given cards, so I'm probably going to get given some rubbish cards. So I think I'm happy with that. Oh, everyone's done. So you can see these are the cards that they've given me. So Steve gave me this card. Dave has given me this one. He's my partner. And Paul gave me this rubbish card. <laughs> You're so welcome. I accept the cards. Thank you very much, gentlemen. And Jonathan goes first because he's got the Mahjong. That's right. So this is the Mahjong here. Now, I don't have to play it, but it's very difficult to play if you don't start with it. So... I'm just going to throw it out there. So I, I click on it. You must play an opening card combination. So I think you click, you click on all the cards you want to play. So in my case, I'm just yeah. going to play the Mahjong. And then I click play. And there it is. I've played it. Now you've got and, to make a wish. Oh, yes. Yeah, so now I can ask for a certain thing. So I want to kind of make it awkward for my opponents, for Steve and Paul, while not making it awkward for Dave. But obviously, I don't know exactly what Dave's got in his hand. Um, but equally, I don't want to give who's next. It's Steve next, isn't it? I don't want to give Steve an opportunity to get rid of one of his nice low cards. So I'm going to go for a nine because if Steve's got a nine, he will have to play it, which might be annoying for Steve. Now Dave Steve can play. Yeah, so Dave can play anything he likes. Yeah, the rules I saw online seem to indicate that the wish was optional, but it, did you have an option there or was it forced? Oh, I don't know, actually. I know, next game. I, I wasn't sure because I've never really played with a wish before because last time you taught me, Jonathan, you didn't tell me that. Yeah, I forgot all about it. Um, <laughs> but we'll, we'll have a look the next time it's on and see what happens. So Dave, oh my goodness, Dave has played a Phoenix. So if we let Dave win this, they're going to lose 13, uh, 25 points. Now, Wait, Phoenix is a... how am I winning? Because it's nine and a half. You said it's one point five. No, it's one point five if you lead it. It's it's wild. It's one. It's it's half a po It's half a card more than the previous one. Oh no! So it's, like I said, it says it was an ace and a half if you play it over an ace as well. Okay. Um, so I'm. I gonna mean, play... you, if that if that was one and a half, you wouldn't have been able to play it. Why? Because it doesn't beat a nine. You've got to beat the previous card. So okay. I'm going to pass. So now you're beating a 10. 
Um, what happens if you play the dogs and your partner is already out? Uh, you nominate an opponent to, to lead. Oh, I you, thought it passed will... clockwise, actually, from your partner. Oh, it, might, it might do. It's, it, it, will, it will not be your lead, though. All right, so everyone's yeah. passed, you can see, which means I win the trick. So I got all those cards. Now, you can't actually see it because I think it's hidden behind... No, you've, um... got minus, you've got negative 15 points. Yeah, let me just slide my window over here slightly. Oh, this is difficult to see now. Roop. So you, over here, it says minus 15. We will sort out the view, and I'll move the uh, images into the middle for the next stream. But, um, yeah, so that's... That's not so good. Um, you explained about going out first and last, did you? Uh, no, I didn't. Yeah, Let's you explain that now. To, yeah, yeah, you should do that. So, I forgot. although in theory we're trying to fight over points and kings are worth 10 and fives are worth 5 and things like this, and obviously me starting off with minus 15 because I won the Phoenix, which is worth minus 25, is bad. Actually, if you can get rid of all your cards first, that's good. And it's good because, I always get this the wrong way around, whoever goes out last has to give all of their tricks, all the points that they won during the whole game, they give it to the, the opponents. Is it the opponents or the person who went out first? I'd say, I'd say it's, it's equivalent the same, isn't it? Not necessarily. No, because your partner may have gone out first. We'll figure that out when it comes to it. But they have to give away all their tricks. So you really don't want to be the last person to go out because you lose all the points that you won during the round. But equally, any card you have left in your hand at the end will also be given away. I think those are given away to the opposite team. And I think all the cards you won go to the person who went out first. So going out first is a really big deal because you're going to win lots of points. Oh, no. The, the, the whoever goes out last gives it to their opponents. It's not, it's not given to who goes out first. The, the hand and the, the points they won? Uh... Because it's two separate things. A sec. Remaining cards. So those are cards in hand. And what about... his tricks to the winner. Yes. So all the points they won during the round go to the person who went out first. Any cards left in their hand go to the opposite team. So going out last yeah. is pretty bad. But also, if both you and your partner manage to get rid of all of your cards before either of your opponents go out, then nobody scores any points for the entire round from the cards they won. And instead, you having gone out first, get 200 points. Boom! <laughs> or 400 if one of you called Grand Teach you. That's yeah. true. It's, it's a big deal. If you come first and second, you just win 200 points. So it's about... Yeah, that, that, that will happen quite more often than you think, I think. So to cut a long story short, particularly the first few times you play, you don't want to worry too much about the points. Going out first is generally more important than winning lots of points. Yeah. If you always, if you always, if you, if you, every game you go out first, you're probably going to win. Yeah. All right. Well, Dave was the last one to play with a queen. So if I pass here, he might win the trick. And that would be good for us. Oh, but Steve's played an ace. If only Dave had kept his Phoenix, now he could play it as an ace and a half. <laughs> He might, well, have be a good idea. he might have the, the dragon. Drag there. There's a dragon. Um. So Dave passes. That means we've all effectively passed. I think. No, no, no. You, you, you get. The, everyone gets the opportunity to come back in. Oh, okay. if you have the dragon. You can beat this. All right. Um, the bomb. I think. I think I'm just going to pass on that one. Um, underneath the names, you can see on the left, it says hand times 11 or hand times 12, whatever. That tells you how many cards people have left in their hand, which is quite important. So Steve plays a pair this time, which means everyone has to play a pair. So Dave plays a higher pair. Paul passes. I'm going to pass. Steve plays yet a higher pair, pair of jacks. Dave is thinking, does he play? Oh, he's gone for his pair of aces. Pulling out the big guns. Paul passes. I'm passing because Dave is on my team. I want him to win the trick. 
Winning the trick and being able to lead to the next trick is pretty important. So Dave gets to start. Three nines. That's an awkward combination to follow. Paul passes. Well, I'll pass. Now, even though I may have three of a kind, I don't have to play it. In fact, everyone's passed, so that's actually good. Dave just wins and starts the next trick. Look, he's only got five cards left. Can he get rid of them all before anyone gets a go? Oh, back to individual cards, though. It's a chance to get rid of low cards, though. It's obviously hard, because you have to play higher cards each time. It's hard to get rid of your low cards. There we go, there's a five. I think I'm going to get rid of that one. Mm, it's not very high. Oh, everyone's passed. They've left me winning with the jack. Well, I think we might um, oof, pull out this little beauty. Catching. So that's obviously very hard to follow because it's a run of five cards and it's ace high. So, if you know what's gone as well, you know whether it's beatable. Mm. I can't yeah. tell how many cards people have left in their hand. Under your name, oh. under your name is a, there's a hand with a multiple. The number next to the hand that, that with the time sign is how many you've got left. On the left. On the left, under your name, where it says the hand sign and the number. So mm. I think I'm going to do that. <laughs> so I've played the dog. So that's not like a starting card. Effectively, it just transfers the lead to Dave. So now Dave has the chance to play any combination he likes. He doesn't have to play a single card. He could play a pair or something if he wants to. Yeah, just passing the lead. Three kings. Okay, let's hope Dave Steve... had a very good hand. Yeah, Dave's done well. Can I beat that, gentlemen? I've no idea. <laughs> yeah, well, Dave played a pair of aces earlier. Well, that's true, yes. So I don't I need a bomb. You'd There's need not a enough bomb. aces left. Well, you need a bomb. <laughs> You would yeah. need a bomb. And I was one card off a bomb and you wrecked it anyway. Your stupid wish. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, Dave. Wow, you lucky boy. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, well, I, I was hoping Jonathan was going to finish first. Uh, so then I could just, yeah, follow. Yeah, but why didn't you start with the dragon? And Jonathan had a bomb as well, did he? Boom! All right, we lost Paul. So yeah, well, that's not surprising. My highest card was a ten. <laughs> I, I I passed you that as well. I know. <laughs> so I, wow, that's, I did. I just I did. I did eight long straight, and then you wrecked it. Yes. <laughs> so you can see. We just got 200 points. All the points cards that were being counted during the game, they count for nothing. And because me and Dave managed to go out before either of Steve or Paul, we just get 200 points and they get nothing. They go home and cry. Yeah. I Steve, I tried to pass you my best card. It was a jack. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, you could have, I mean, if you already had a 10, you could have kept I didn't. <laughs> my next best card was an eight. Yeah. Okay. I could have passed you an ace, actually. I actually had a spare ace. I could have passed you that. Might have given you a chance. But Jonathan had bombed, so we were unlikely to win that. Mm. That is true. Okay. So I think I give that away to Steve. This one to Dave. And then I need to give something to Paul. I'm quite liking this lot. And I like the idea of those, so I'm going to pass that one. Although in general low cards are bad, you don't necessarily want to pass your lowest card if it's part of a nice combination. Like if you had four threes, like I did in the previous game, even though threes did, are very low. Did you get dealt those? Uh, I think somebody passed me a three, did they? I, d I didn't. I passed, a nine, I passed a nine and two tens last time. Paul, did you pass a three to me? I may have, yes. Yes, yeah, so you got Paul to thank for that. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> All right, so we're just waiting for Dave, I think, to choose which cards to give. 
and yeah, then um, we'll get actually no it it couldn't have been passed for me because i passed you both the same rank that's what i remember is i had a low pair and i split it that must have been five then maybe yeah all right so we've got a cards so i've got that from steve that from paul and that from dave uh, just if it matters you can't use the phoenix in a bomb oh yes that's true so feel phoenix is wild it can be any card you like but not as part of a bomb right and it's steve looks like he's got the the marjong I think yeah. Let's do a pair of threes. So we have to play pairs if we want to follow that. Okay. What's Dave gonna do? I don't know. Guess we'll see. Oh, that's oh. nice. Low pair. It's difficult because let's say you've got three of a kind, you often don't want to use two of them for a pair because then you split up your really nice three of a kind. So deciding whether or not to play when you can is often quite tricky. Uh, it depends on the constitution of your hand. If you've got, like, let's say if you had three sixes, but you had a pair of nines, jacks, queens, and aces or something, I probably would split it. Because what you're trying to do is make your last pairs unbeatable. So if you keep playing pairs and people run out of pairs, yeah. then your pairs toward the end of the hand can't be beaten. Mm. But if you haven't got any higher pairs, it probably isn't worth it. Uh, oh, God. Uh See, Steve obviously has a higher pair that doesn't want to play it. So Dave wins with a pair of fives. That's great. <coughs> it's another pair of threes. Oh, now Paul breaks out his pair of fives. I think... Uh, that's probably a bad idea. We're going to do that. Dave's got the pair of sevens. I'm showing on my screen. The internet's been slow. There we go. Paul's no played queen. a pair of queens. I don't think I want to uh, beat that. So, so the fact that Paul didn't beat the pair of fives last time with his queens is good because if he ever gets to start off or play his low pair of fives, his queens are a backup. But if he'd lost his queen, so when he plays his five, his hand's dead. So I actually, I think that's fine. Mm, and Paul takes the pair of queens. Yeah, he also gets 10 points as well, because there are two fives. It's odd that it doesn't keep track of that. Were they underneath his queens? It does. It, does. it says under the name on the right-hand side. Oh, the number of... Points that that person's got. Yeah, it doesn't... It doesn't keep track of oh it keeps track of the cards you played in the hand, hand though the left yeah in the hand let's see what happens here uh, that was a just a lowly two by itself well i think there's an opportunity to get rid of individual cards we will oh no <laughs> i misclicked <laughs> <laughs> at least we're not playing an rv i'm not letting the whole team down I, I, i'll use it as an opportunity to get rid of cards yeah i knew someone yeah sorry i shouldn't say well, fortunately, I can still play the card I was going to try and play before, so I've helped Dave. That's good. OK. 
Okay. I see your nine. I'm raise you ten. It's worth ten points there. Oh, but Dave jumps back in with a jack. Oh, wait. Oh, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, no. Paul goes oh, to so a Paul, queen. So Paul had three queens. So he split his queens up to beat the pair on the last one, which is why he didn't beat it. Another reason he didn't do it the first time. So what I want to yeah. know is how many points are available so far in the trick? Ten. Without having to count the cards? And no. <laughs> <laughs> you don't I'm know. You're going to have to count if, if, you played this, if, if you played this in paper, when you play another thing, you're meant to cover up the one you've already played. Yeah. Which is weird the way they put them out separately. All right. Because yeah, you do that, you play your own cards in front of you. Okay, I'm going gonna... to. When you play this game, you don't play it in the middle, you play them in front of you so you can see who's the last person to have. Oh, I see. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Okay. If you play this in real life, I've played a, a, a version called. Um, it's called. It's called Bum, um, which is teach you without the special cards. Yeah. Um, it's got the passing at the start, but basically the end of a hand of Bum, there'll be a boss, a work, uh, form foreman, a worker, and a Bum. And the Bum will pass all to, some good cards to the boss, and the boss will pass some bad cards down and so on. I think it has a few different names, that game. Yeah. A Phoenix? You've played a Phoenix. It's half a step above an A, so that's like Ace and a half. Yeah, so a Dragon will beat it. Oh, look, it will. Apart from you don't have to pass the lead to someone. Yeah, but um, the advantage is that I you don't... Nullify, you nullify the 20, minus 25 you've just won. Yeah. If you'd have not played the dragon, Paul would have got minus 25. Yes. Right. You can have it. I still get the lead, though. No. I just give the points away. Oh. I do. You keep the... No. You give, give the lead away. No, no, no. I give the cards away. I've got the option now at the top. Give cards to Paul or give cards to Steve. Oh, really? So I'm going to give oh, the cards... I, I mis-explained that then. ...to Paul. And now I get to lead to the next trick. Okay. So I mis-explained that. Sorry. Well, why don't you give them to Steve? Because... He's got 12 cards now. Yeah, that probably would have been better because Steve then is more likely to go out last, isn't he? It's all right, Dave. We'll go out yeah. before either of them again. <laughs> <There we go. laughs> All right, right, I'm going to do that. And with three queens gone, that's hard to beat. Mm. Uh, I know it's got the last queen. <laughs> then I'm going to do that. Oh, uh, full house is another combination you can start with. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, did you forget to mention that? Yeah. So to beat a full house, it's the three of a kind that matters. Yeah. Just like poker. <sighs> Steve's thinking. Oh, he's got one. Might have been more useful to uh, tell us uh, uh, another point. About right, the full okay. house. For a simple game, yeah. there's, a, there's a lot of little yeah, over yeah. this, there's... over this, over this, because there's all these special cards. So. Yeah. I mean, this is a, a learning game. We're all learning how to uh, play, which is why we're in training mode. So you're not gaining or losing any points for this. I think if I do this and then say... That? Hang on. I'm going to say that. Aren't you glad to get cards to pull now? Steve, is that optional? Oh, I didn't check. <laughs> what did you say? Six. Five. Okay. Presumably. It says it next to my name on oh, the right. Yeah. yeah, okay. So if you have a six, you have to play it. I wonder if I can change the view and make it a bit clearer. And I guess what Dave has. That's, uh... Do I have to? Because it's giving yes. me the option to pass. Oh, then I guess if you play, uh, yeah. So the next legal play, if you've got a six in your house, would be a six. 
I don't know if you can pass pass, but like I, I imagine your choices are between playing a six and passing. I'm just going to check the, mm -hmm. the, the I'm going to check the rules. Uh, the next player has a card with desire rank and can lawfully play it, must play it. Okay, can I, yeah. do I have to play a single set? Yeah, because it's uh, you must play. It. You lead. must you must play it. Yeah, second. That's why I gave the cards to Paul, Dave. No, I mean, need to be it's Paul. It's it's very weird that I went first to the pair of threes and then passed for a long time. Yeah, like, indeed. You never give them the lead when they do that. <laughs> Uh, so the lead will go to Dave now. It goes clockwise. I think if you play the dog and your partner's out, you you nominate an opponent. And I think if the next person goes out with a winning trick, I knew Dave had that. All right, if I move us there, I think you might be able to see the points and things on the right hand side. Huh. Why, on, didn't Dave. Queen, why didn't you go Queen King Ace? Very weird. All right, All so right. Dave goes out third, which means Paul's out last, and we get points. So let's see if we can understand this. Five, ten. So King. I basically I scored forty points because the the net of a round yeah. is a hundred, isn't it? Yeah, I okay. scored forty points. Yeah, so the cards that you gave me got given back to you, right? Yes, that's right. The phoenix and the dragon yeah. are in your column. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. yeah. Whereas if I'd given them to Steve, you guys would have won those points. Yeah, but th th that trick was only net 10 anyway, because it was a phoenix dragon and a 10. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, you might uh... be wondering how long we do this for. Well, in theory, there's like an ongoing score. So you can see me and Dave have got 260, yeah, no. Steve and Paul have got 40. And it's the first team to a thousand normally, I think. Yeah. Um, you, uh, the dog, the dog is passed to the left. You are right. Yeah, if the person's gone out. Right, mm. time to give some cards away. Well. Well, this is a very unusual hand. <laughs> um. Hmm. What do I want to do with this lot? Hmm. That's oh, I should have passed a different card, sorry Paul. Problem. So I think we give that one away. I don't know what to give. We'll give him that one. And we'll give him that one. And we'll see what we get given back. Yeah, okay, okay. Interesting. It's sometimes important whose past you are as well. So so the last the last round there, I Try to remember what cards hadn't been played. And so when I named a six, I counted there'd only been one six played. So the chance of, of the 11 cards between Paul and Dave that Dave had a six was pretty high. And so I'm trying to wreck holdings he's got. Yeah. Because yeah. Dave has to follow next. It did, it did, did allow me to pass. Yeah, I think, you, so I think it says you must play on the rules. So I don't know what we want to do. I think like maybe it's like if someone wants to play on that, they have to play the I'll next read, player to play a card. I'll read what it says. It has says, it. the next player who has a card of desired rank and can lawfully play it, must play it. It could possibly, be too that if you, if you try clicking on the pass, it may not allow you. Someone who does not, well, he might not be able to work out whether the card's playable or not. I don't know. Should, should do. Yeah, it should do. Someone who does not hold or cannot play a card of desired value 
can play any lawful card or pass. I wish what it made cards? So, so 10 score 10. What else oh. scores 10? Kings, kings score 10 and 5 score 5. Kings and 5 score 5. 5, 10 kings. Okay, that's it. That's the only things that score. Yeah. Okay. All uh, right. That's... Uh... And what, what does the one do again? Uh, it allows you to go first, and it just counts as a one. Uh, you can also make a wish. Yeah. Jonathan, okay. really, on that first round, you really wrecked me. I had a straight from five to queen. And it's, oh, my God. And I had an ace to get in with. And, oh. Yeah. Uh... All right, come on, Paul. You can, you can try and not go out last this time. That'd be good. <laughs> well, I, I had like the equivalent of like a two point hand, like if you're talking yeah. bridge here, right? For the first time yeah. around. I passed you a Phoenix. I passed you like a wild card. Yeah, yeah. You could have used to do whatever you want. You could have beat an ace of it or whatever. Yeah. Well, I needed to win because I also had, I needed to get rid of the dog, which I couldn't. Okay. Because I had too many singleton low cards. Uh, fair enough. Yeah. Uh, is he making a wish? Have you got the option to maybe make a wish, Dave? Is it optional? I don't know. I've already clicked on the five. Uh, has a free wish. He's allowed to wish for a certain rank. He doesn't say it on the rules I've got whether it's optional or not. Mm, okay. The baby's called five. All right. All right. What do I want to play? I think I want to play that. That card's no good to me. So if the last really? game I'd have asked, sorry, really what? No, oh, it's just everyone passed on the eight. Yeah, I, 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 maybe I haven't got a card either, mate. <laughs> we can do it. Yeah, so Jonathan, um, I'm just going to make my play. I'm going to get a drink of water. One second. Okay. Well, I think we're going to. We're going to get rid of that, actually. People don't aren't keen to play individual cards, so we will get rid of a dodgy three. Somebody pass me that rubbish card. Who that could have been? Eight again, eh? Yeah, the fact that you don't have to play, I think, makes it very interesting. Like, it often presents you with tricky decisions, like whether or not to play your jack. I mm -hmm. don't think I want to play on top of that. Jack, I will pass. Oh. And points to Dave. Not yet. <laughs> so yeah, that's the king. So I guess you just have to notice that that's worth ten points. Yep. And then, at the end of the trick, the points will appear on the right here. So so far, I've got five points. So let's pass that one. Oh my goodness, what's that? A run of pairs. Three. Oh, a, no, 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 it's a pair of runs. <laughs> <laughs> so it's threes, fours, and fives. You have to play three pairs in a row that are higher than five at I the thought, top. I they have to play two runs in a pair. <laughs> it's confusing enough, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're saying it a better way because when you say three pairs in a run, it's clear exactly how many cards it is, but two runs in a pair doesn't say... I'd have mm. to say two runs of three in a pair. <laughs> and that makes it even worse. Yeah, so I think we'll be... Uh... 
passing that. It's the fact that they have to be next to each other makes it particularly awkward. Um, uh, in a quandary, yeah, let's try that. Oh. The dog's a tricky card, because if you get stuck with it near the end of the game, it, you can just be totally you're gonna stuffed. Lose. You're going you're gonna to lose, yeah. It's probably, probably a sensible time for me to play it. Either you need to guarantee that you can go out with all the rest of your cards and then finish with the dog. That's the best scenario. Yeah. Or like if get you, rid and, of it early. And that's, that's a safe scenario if you have a bomb. Yes, yep. indeed. Um, was that a pair of sevens? Sure is. Hmm. Um, so I think we're going to play a pair of nines. A pair of nines. Oh, Steve's got a pair of jacks. Then, um, what cards can be takes place on a combo but not bomb? Queens, kings, or aces, I guess. The phoenix, the phoenix can be any card you want it to be. If you play it as a single card, it is that card and a half. Right. If you played it at the end of a straight with ace high, it's ace high, ace and a half effectively. No, it's not. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's ace and a half if you play it as higher than an ace. And yeah. it can't be placed in a bomb. So if you play a phoenix, if you have the phoenix, because I think that's the only card you're talking about. Dragon can only be played as a single card, I believe. Yeah. Uh, but the phoenix can be part of uh, a, a set. So you can play phoenix and a queen to have a pair of queens and whatever. But it will lose you 25 points if you win the trick. Leading is usually more important, though, Dave. What's up? Leading is more... is usually more important than the points. Well, you, want, you, want to, you want to get out, and to, the best way to get out is to lead, because you dictate you dictate the structure of the game going forward. If you lead, if you start leading pairs, you make any remaining pairs in your hand stronger. We'll see how it goes. But I think that's worth doing because you'd leave Steve with the lead. Otherwise, as he's only got three cards left, we really don't want him to go first if we can help it. Because he may well have like three of a kind or something as his final cards. He will have been saving right. something good. So we need to I deny him. What, what? What, cards, what cards went before I went to So the... how long does a run have to be? At least three. If you play runner five, future runs that beat that have to be five. But it's at least three. Do they have to be the same suit? No. No. Well, why is it saying it's an invalid combo? I did I wonder know. about the three. It seems very short for a run. Uh, is run at least four then? Should we check that? Uh, then that's my fault if I. I. Oh, apologies. My fault. I'm doing from it's five. So, <laughs> I'm sorry. It's if that's fun. Oh. Yeah, it's five. Runs five. The way I usually okay. explain the possible combos that you can play is essentially it's poker hands. Yeah. Right. Sorry. So the run, like in poker, has to be a minimum. Well, in poker it's five cards, but you can play more than five. The only exception to that, the only oddity really, is the run of pairs. But again, yeah, that's a bit sorry. like two pairs, but you can have sorry, Dave. three. That changes things, then. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, re you really wrecked three on the first one, John. I had a run of eight, and you split it in half. <laughs> Absolutely did me in. Okay, I think we're gonna... You don't find out who's got the one until you've passed your cards either. Let's see what Dave does. I mean, it's completely wrong. Sorry, Dave. <laughs> I mean, uh, previous games, maybe that's why we were struggling to do anything sensible. Mm. You're, t you're 220 points ahead, so you'll be fine. Yeah. It said the estimated length of this game is 30 minutes, and I don't think that's the case. For a thousand points? <laughs> yeah. Not to a thousand points, I Wowzers. don't think. Wowzers, yeah. Uh, that's I imagine a, a there's a lot. 
I imagine there's a lot of people gram- gambling on Grand Teach You and stuff. Oh, I'm sure. You've got to imagine that we've not called Teach You once. Yeah, that's true. That does. And I think you you would have you would have called Teach You when you had the bomb. I think Jonathan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The danger is let's so let's say that I have the one, and I start the ha- I start the game with no fours, and I get past no fours. Paul's got the hang of this. <laughs> Sorry, Steve. Go on. So, so let's say let's say I start the game with a one, and I have no fours and get past no fours, and someone calls teach you, and my opponent's called teach you. I'm probably going to play the one and call out four because it's a very likely card for me to be passed, given I haven't got any. Yeah. Go, Dave. Bombed you, Dave. Bombed. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to be <laughs> beating that. Uh, I didn't pass you any of those twos, so if Paul did, it's Paul's fault again. I may have passed it too. <laughs> oh dude. <dear. clears throat> it's a single card though. Fine. He's gonna go dragon and then play his last card, he'll be fine. He's oh. It's almost like I've been counting. Almost. Weirdly, Dave, if you'd have waited one turn, you'd have you'd have got twenty five points and you'd have screwed Paul over. <laughs> Have you got another bomb? Well, no, I was going to leave my other card in that case, in case no, there was a bomb. Yeah, but he bomb, he bombs and then doesn't play a single card and you get screwed anyway. Oh, wait a minute. I can't Right. Oh, give cards, right. Give cards. You've got to give us the points. Yeah. I think I'm going to give them to Jonathan. What are you saying? <laughs> well, you were nice and gave them to me last time. I'm just returning oh, the favor. favor. Yes, thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. And so Paul is out with a single three. Well, I'm actually going to play that. I think we want to prevent Steve from playing if possible. Come on, Dave, let's shut him out. I would have given it to Dave, Paul, because I think Dave said his hand's been wrecked by my lack of explanation of the straight. Oh, that's true. But I think maybe you've been ethical here. I would usually, in this position, given Jonathan's leading next, I would say Jonathan's favourite to get out next. He's got to, he's got yeah, nine maybe. cards. There are certain combinations that I can't beat with only three cards, man. That's true. That will be one of them. Yeah. That would be one of them. That's for I so I can't beat that. And neither can Dave. But he might be able to beat that. There are definitely some subtleties to the game that. Uh... On, the, fact it's a pa- the fact it's a partnership yes! game. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. Yeah, yeah, no, of course. I think he has to lead his singleton now. Yeah, but yeah. Oh, that's fine. I can beat that. Can Jonathan? <laughs> the question. Dope. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I can't. There is one combination of cards you can have that I can beat, but it's unlikely. Yeah, okay. Uh, nice. <laughs> all right, so at the end, me and Dave got 70 points when you total up all those points. Stephen Paul got 30. But we're not really <laughs> counting the points because, as you've noticed, we've got a few rules wrong tonight. We are just learning how to play. Shall we say that um, if you want to, you can make a teach you bet at this point? Yeah, and it's before you play your first card. And more than one person can make a teach you. Yeah. So just remind us how this works, Steve. Is uh, before it... you play your first card, you call teach you. There's a, there'll be a button that appears on the top that says teach you 100 star. And basically, if you're the first person out, you gain an extra 100 points for your team. But if you're not, in any situation, even if it's your partner that beats you, you lose that 100 points mm. for your team. So if your partner calls teacher, even if you've got a good hand, your aim that game is to make sure your partner finishes first. Yeah. So you're not beating anything your partner plays. You're trying to make it really hard for the opponents to gain the lead and that sort of thing. So. Hmm. You, but you can call that at any point, right? Like, well, no, you can't. No, before you've played your first card. Okay. 
So <laughs> on the very first game where Paul still had 14 cards for a long, long part of it, at some point he could say, oh, brilliant. They've all got so few cards left that whatever I play, they can't beat. Right. But if you had the dragon, he could then go, teach you, dragon, six in a row, five in a row, three pairs or whatever, and then win. Even if they're really low because the opponents don't have enough cards in the hand to beat them. Okay. Hmm. Right, so this is the moment. Do we call teach you or not? <laughs> um, probably not. <coughs> what have you given me? You've given me that and that and that and... Hmm. And I get to name a card. Now, if I've been... just, have, just have a look, see if it's a May. You must... Play okay. oh an op sorry no an opening card combination. So I am just going to play the one. Okay, and then do you have? And an then it says, says you you make a wish. It says okay. It doesn't look in the rules like it's uh, it's optional. It doesn't say it is or it isn't. But I, I imagine if it, it was optional, it would state it. Yeah, I can't. I don't have the opportunity to refuse this. I have to make okay. a wish. Okay. Um. Now what did I give away? I think we did it that way didn't we so, so yeah the website i found regarding tichu um, says that in many early translations it was listed as um required like the wish was a was required um and and yet it's actually supposed to be optional so it, okay. it's it's easy to miss and it's easy you know people play under both sets of rules apparently okay well if it's i think i think if it's forced then also, because Dave's got the option to pass, I think we play that rule that it's forced. Yeah, sure. Uh, so he said, what's he said? Nine. Oh, okay. No, I, I I meant the making of a wish was optional. You haven't said nine. Where have you said nine? I thought I had. Oh, what's it, the nine? It has in the, uh, in the log. Yeah, so I, yeah, I have actually the option to play other th of the cards. I am going to play a nine. Hmm. Yeah, because I think when I made a wish, it said it next to my name. Yeah, but you you, you didn't. play a 10 then beat that <laughs> oh okay <laughs> fair enough Yes, that's going to be tricky to beat. Ironically, I think this is probably one of the few games that would actually play quicker in person. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dealing's obviously a bit of a pain. In China, they don't deal the cards, they take, take the they cards. Take them off the top, yeah. So the deck sits in the middle and you take it in turns one by one to take a card off the top. It's because mm. you're thinking about making Grand teach you. What you don't want to do is deal nine out and then say, right, guys, have a look at your hand, have a think. But as you're going off the top, and then before you draw your you think that you've had an assessment of your hand as you've been drawing it, I think that's probably how it's... Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they also Sorry. take the cards anti-clockwise instead of clockwise. Yeah. Which is completely bonkers. <laughs> yeah, you wanted me to leave. Uh, is it? <laughs> it? It's always clockwise. Well, it's like I don't driving know. on the right-hand uh, side of the road or something insane like that. You've got <laughs> you've got left-handed and right-handed dice, and you've also got European and Chinese dice as well. Oh, hang on, it's me. So Paul's led three sixes. Um, okay, I think we'll be doing that then. Uh. 
uh, three sixes. Uh, no one wanted to play that? Good. I get to go again. Okay, how about these ones then? Oh, my goodness. No? What about don't, these don't ones? Tell then? me you've got more. How about, how about these ones then? Oh. Uh, you could have played a, a run of, th of triples. Oh, can you? No. I didn't realize. Don't. Can you not do that? No, only a run of pairs. Okay. My fault then. Uh, no, I still can't beat that. That's my partner. Good lad. <laughs> Uh, well, I'll, I'll go easy on people. Then. I'll do them. I'll do this. Dave, do you still have the opportunity to make a teach you? The best. Yes. Oh, that's interesting. So that must be the T that's next to your yeah. name. Yeah, I've got that. Because you haven't the, played a card yet, even though we've had lots of rounds of the game. <laughs> Dave, what are you doing? Right, sorry. That's just a lowly three, is it? Uh, he probably has a hand similar to mine the first time around. All right, I can follow a three. Get rid of our junk. It's your only six. That's my only seven. But we know that because Paul's played all three sixes. That's three, right. Seven, all the singles from the triplets are now going to come out. Well, I will play the yeah, last eight. <laughs> Perfect. I will uh, I'll play this one. Oh, I think I think now is the time to break that baby out. What? No, no, we're not having that. That nonsense. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think so. Make you use it, though. Uh, this time, I think I'll pass. <laughs> Finally. Right. I have a two-card bomb. Steve can have that lot. Um, uh, it was only worth 10, wasn't it? Yeah, I don't think it was a lot. Yeah. And then we're going to do that. I think I need to get rid of those while I still can. But two threes. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you. Oh, what? So Paul's out. So if he wins, I will lead the next trick because it just follows clockwise. So I'm actually going to pass. Come on, Steve. We need one, two here. <laughs> At the lead, I'd do pretty well. well <laughs> that doesn't sound good. <laughs> let's, let's get those out because they're also hard for me to get rid of. I know, I know two of the cards in Dave's hand. I think if Dave gets the lead, he's got to do pretty well. Look how many cards he's holding on to. Yeah, wait. We just can't get the lead to him. Yeah, sometimes I don't like having the dog. Like I had the lead, and I gave it up because I feel I have to. Because I was never going, I was never going to like. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'll do my best, Paul. I'll do my best. No, you, it helps you me get, go out, so yeah, just don't be get, last. Uh, well, you get my 20 points if I come last, don't you? Oh, there we go. Apologies, you get my. Does Paul get my cards on my points? If look. you go out last, Steve, yeah. you give the points that you've won to Paul, so effectively yeah. you get to keep the points, but any cards left in your hand go to the opposite team. All right, so I really need to play some of these. <laughs> Over to you, Steve. Over to me to play a singleton. Oh, Dave. Dave, I love you. Is that a jack or a queen? It's a jack. 
Okay. Anyway, we'll let uh, let John mm. go first. Mm. Yeah. Well, it's interesting, this. I think I probably have to go out just to make sure. But it does give the lead to Steve. You can do two doubles. Oh, interesting. I didn't know you could do that. So a, a run of pairs can be any length. Yeah, we didn't. I thought, yeah, so I was saying it had to be three, but maybe I was wrong. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I think the three only applies to triplets. <laughs> yeah, okay. To nothing else. Wow. Uh, yeah, this is I good. I think Steve's going to go out here, isn't he? Yeah, also with three tens. <laughs> I mean, yeah. you could have a bomb. You could have a bomb here. Yeah, come on, Dave. Oh, yeah, yeah. yes, he does. Uh, yeah, I, <laughs> I, at least, I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I'm not winning another trick here. So they're actually going to outscore us here. Yeah. I knew you had a pair of twos. As long as he's got pairs left, we're, we're sorted. Ooh, Steve's in with a chance now. I think all the aces have gone, haven't they? The aces are all gone. Yeah. I mean, I have a three. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was not winning that. Nice work, Dave. <laughs> 80 points. Look at that. That's okay. At some point, we are going to have to go for teach you. Or grand teach you. <laughs> yeah, so we may as well um, allow the grand teach you, although it feels a little bit reckless at this point. Right, let's give some cards away. Well, that's interesting. That's very interesting. In which case, I think we'll probably do... Ooh. Oh my goodness. What a hand. Uh, so I probably want to do that that if you're watching I don't know if you can see why I'm making this choice because it's a little bit unusual but if you see no I don't want to do that oh no reset reset oh but then I've got to oh this is interesting <sighs> do I want to do that though problem is they're going to give me rubbish yep <laughs> so I definitely want to get rid of that one I don't think I do want to get rid of that one so I think I do that and then give that there because then I'm left with that and that and that. We'll see what I get, but that's what I'm going to give away. And yeah, they gave me rubbish, but uh, we'll see what happens. <sighs> Who's going to start the question? Dave. Well, Dave. Dave, all right. I like the make a wish thing. I think that's a really interesting part of the game. Mm -hmm. If you get it right, you can wreck the next person. You really mm -hmm. can. Mm -hmm. It's hit me twice. I had three nines, three tens last game, and then someone started playing threes. So I was like, but then he took one of my nines away, and I didn't want to just run out three tens when I knew that like, there was a bomb in play as well. Although, if I'd run out three tens, Dave might have bombed it just to get 30 points. One advantage of having a triple is that you can get rid of a low pair by playing it as a full house, when otherwise it might be quite mm -hmm. difficult to get rid of it. Yeah, I forget the full house. I'm so used to playing a version of this game where there's some of the things we're doing here isn't aren't in the version I'm, I played tons of it at college. <laughs> you couldn't do full houses. You could do runs of pairs of any length. Oh. Yeah, I had uh, I had played a version of this uh, again. Yeah, when I was in first year university, ninety seven, where it was um, it was called Big Two, and it was essentially the two is two is outranked and ace. Two is outranked and ace. Yeah, yeah, it's and, the same, same game as me. And, and it had to be. It was always poker hands. So if it was a straight, it always had to be five cards exactly. Exactly five. Yeah. Uh, different to me then. Yeah. Mm. OK. 
comes the king. What did sorry that went fast? What did uh, what did Dave beat Paul's nine with? The same Jack. same hand, Jack. Okay. Jack. It's the same. It's the same thing. Yeah, I think I'm going to. Hmm, it's a bit of a risk, actually. But I think actually no, we'll, we'll do that. Well, I'd be nuts not to try and get rid of this now, because otherwise that's going to cause me no end of trouble later on. Yep. You're welcome. <laughs> Obviously, the danger of winning the trick with the ace there is that someone could play a phoenix or a dragon on top of it. Yep. And you're giving away a high card and you still didn't win the trick. But then everyone else is thinking, oh, but if I play my Phoenix now, someone might drag in it and I'll maybe I should it. wait. Yes. So people tend to be reluctant to win the tricks too early. We've jumped straight up to a queen already. Well, Dave's winning it, so I'll be passing that. We want Dave to win, that's great. Oh, so now he gets to make a wish. <laughs> it was like critical decision time. Um, but yeah, I just, just say. Oh, he's gone for a five. Does Paul have a five? He does. I don't mind that because I can get rid of that. Um, you can have that. Ten points. Good luck, Paul. Yeah, we'll see. This this is the same hand as the five hand. No, sure. Oh, and there's the dragon. Well, that's a lot of points he's giving away. If he wins it, he, what, he, he will go unless it bums, unless it bums it. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'd be happy to take those points. Well, it depends who you give them to, I guess, Paul. You might have to, quite a lot. Yeah, who do you think? <laughs> Is that uh, tabletop? I, 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 it's probably table talk, yeah. I don't, think okay. I, I don't feel I should be answering that. I mean, Dave's still got the opportunity to bum it. Well, he's thinking yeah. about it, that's for sure. He seems to be disconnected. It's, it's worth 45 points if he bums it. My connection's gone down. Oh. I'm not bombing it, unfortunately. No. 
I mean, you shouldn't bum it. I was just trying to entice you to do it. You're getting 45 points anyway. Why waste a bum? Yeah. Uh, um, uh, because in fact, you're allowed to bomb before the person starts to lead the next trick. Yeah, you can just bomb out of the blue. Yeah. Right. Oof, points. Dave's got them. Yeah, so that's the safer play. If you give them to Jonathan, it's more high because Jonathan only had 10. Oh my goodness, what are you playing? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, Jack, Queen, King. Wowzers. Well, unfortunately, I don't have a run that beats that. A run of eight oh, cards. My time to be on my bomb. <laughs> and he's only got one card left, which he plays, and then, uh, yeah, that was the time to bomb, wasn't it? But I can get rid of some rubbishy low card at least. Let's get rid of that. I think I've misplayed a bit here. We'll see what happens. So that the one at the side here indicates that Paul has gone out first, it seems. So really, we just want to make sure Dave doesn't go out last. Yep. Because we've won half the points in the round already. Maybe. They're not yours yet. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness, oh, I'm one with, with a five? five? Well, that's interesting. Let's see how far we can push them. Yes. Apparently, Steve has no singles left in his hand. Yes. So I think. Oh, we, higher than the five. We do that next. <laughs> right, right. Well, this he might have. He does. Was it uh, two consecutive two pairs? Yeah, but they have to be consecutive. Yeah, I yeah. don't think you've. I don't think you've got. You could have two kings to aces, I suppose. But I don't think anyone can beat that, unless you've got two kings to aces. Oh dear. I think they've used all of their uh, <laughs> low singles that were well, higher they, than the they would have bombed you. I, they would have bombed you in a row if they had a bomb. I oh, I know, I know that for sure. I uh, yeah, I'm struggling to. I had a, I, I, I think I misplayed. Up. I think I misplayed there. Mm. Yeah. I think we can be a bit naughty here. Because <laughs> people don't want to split up nice combinations. Uh, maybe I could scat beat it. That would be even better. Although I think there's a phoenix still out there. Yeah, maybe. Is it, is it not gone? Did Paul not beat it with his dragon? The dragon's gone. I don't think the phoenix okay. is gone. No, just yeah. the dragon. If you say that, it indicates you might not have it, though, Jonathan. Yeah, maybe. Well, if he does, you're going to see it on the next trick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's offline again. We've lost Dave. It's my interview. It just drops. It's so weird. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. The Zoom is fine. Like, you can stream video and audio. But you can't click buttons can't on play on BGA. Arena. <laughs> that is so yeah, weird. Yeah, it's um, I think it's to do, I've got a crappy old Wi-Fi card, so. But still. And that's why it's all. 
That's bonkers. Yeah, I had um, I had ten Jack Queen King Ace, and I thought actually I can probably get away with playing them all individually, because if the Phoenix does come down, I can still beat it with the next card in the run. Yep. But if I wait, I won't be able to. I can't win the trick to lead the Jack Queen, uh, ten Jack Queen King Ace, because it was my last set of cards. All right, Steve. You just you just gotta go up first here. <laughs> Oh, that'll do it. <laughs> There's the Phoenix. Yes. Um, yeah. Well. And do you guess what my last card is, if you've been counting? It's the... The dog. The dog. <laughs> I couldn't... I mean, what can I do? Yeah. What can I do? I was well, hoping that's... to... I had the four. I, when I beat your pair with a pair, I had the four. But in theory, the Phoenix would have been two, four, two, five, two, sixes. Yeah, just so I can get them all out. I could never start. So I, at the very start, I should have passed the doctor, Paul. I think that would have been the. Solution. No, I I passed it to you. Oh, okay. That's probably why I. Yeah. That was that was my backup plan in case my thing got bombed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'd be left with a singleton four, and I'm like, that's okay. I know Steve has the dog, so we're good. Uh, yeah, because I was the phoenix, but Jonathan was right. If he did anything weirder, I. I uh, I can't Phoenix is king because I know he's got an ace. There's oh. no way, there's no way he plays Jack Queen King and then five or something. There's no way he does that. Right. So I know he's got an ace after. If I beat his king with my Phoenix and then he aced it, I might then not not win. So at least I got out. And it's just more important at that point to make sure Dave's last. So I didn't need to come second because Dave had fifty points under him. It's more important to come last. Uh, more important for Dave to come last, I guess, than risk it. Yeah. For sure. Okay. Hmm. So let's give away. Oh, this is this is difficult. How do I get? Yeah, I think I think we're gonna do that. Does that work? I'm not very keen on this, but we're going to try that. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Dave. <clears throat> All right, well, that's that's what it is. I've got to teach you. Oh, my goodness. Steve's done it. <sighs> yeah. And he's got the one, Mahjong. That's why I've called teacher straight away, because I had to play first. Yeah. Oh, so it looks like when you're making a wish, the very last one is nothing. Mm. So oh. there's two. Th there's basically two through ace, and then the very one on the right-hand side, when you make a wish, it looks like the empty set in maths. Okay. Yeah. So I imagine that would be do what you want. Because what you don't want to do is make a wish that wrecks your partner's hand, I guess. Yeah, indeed. That's right. Oh. <clears throat> but it's oh. so tempting. I can't play one to three, can I? No. Nope. <laughs> I hate this game. Or four. <laughs> well, whatever. Four is irrelevant. If I can't do three, it's so... all right. So let's go for. I've, I've wished for a nine. So I tried to pass just to see what it would do, and uh, it wouldn't let you. you. Yeah, it wouldn't let me. Okay, that's good. Nice to know that works. I mean, in terms of the implementation, it seems pretty solid. All the rules are being followed. Yeah, it'd be nice in the setup if you had an option to follow the set of rules because it feels like there's uh, it feels like there's many different rules in this. Aww. Is that a queen? Jack. It says I don't it know why in it's... words at the end of his name. 
Oh uh, yeah, the symbols just look off. I'll zoom in a bit, but yeah, it's not clear. Uh, right, I that, think I would prefer yeah. it to be clockwise round a table, as if you're playing an actual, so you know who your partner is. Yeah. Yeah. Dave, you passed, did you? Mm. He passes, yeah, okay. Do that. Hmm, okay, I think we get rid of that one then. Does that seem like a reasonable thing for me to do, Steve, given that you've called teach you? I'm just trying to think of strategy here. If you, like have, the dog, to... if the, if you have the dog, you should play the dog, I think. Immediately? Well, like, well, ne definitely now I've not beaten a single fall. Yeah, then you want I would, me to be playing. This I would certainly level. not lead. I would certainly not lead another singleton. But I'm gonna keep getting rid of my crappy singletons. <laughs> well, yeah, now in this case, now that you know, I'm not playing. I mean, if I'm not playing over four, I'm probably not playing over seven either. Yeah. So I mean, this is. I mean, this isn't. To, this isn't table talk. This is just. I don't yeah. know. So basically. Singletons are the worst. Well, singletons are the worst if you haven't got the dragon. Right. Well, it's 10 points now. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Straight in there. Uh, uh. I thought something big might come out there, Dave. Guess not. No, oh, this is not going to go well. I run from seven through ace. Yeah. So that's. That you, do is... eight through, you, could, you could do eight to Phoenix. Oh, really? Yeah, because Phoenix is ace and a half, isn't it? Mm, I don't know that that's. Uh, no, I think it's only ace and a half if you play it as a single card. Okay, I'll just check in then. You might be right. It, like, there's no card above an ace, so I think that is unbeatable except for a bomb. Oh, yeah, it can replace a two to an ace. Yeah. Oh, now we get a single card. I'm thinking we're going to have to call this early. I have about 10 more minutes before I need to leave. Yeah. Okay. Well, well, if we finish this enjoy, round. Do you enjoy? Do you enjoy? Yeah, 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 we'll finish the round and yeah, we should be good. We spoke about having a couple of, getting a couple of games in. Well, it says 30 <laughs> minutes when you know it. Right? We're looking to get half a game in. Did I win that? Mm. You did. In fact, if we. If we come first and second here, we win by 10 points. Okay. <laughs> Jonathan's down to four cards. <laughs> Hi, Jim. Oh, no! What's that? Oh, Jonathan. Oh, oh, Steve, you've bombed it. I was waiting until someone played some points. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Uh, Hi, Julian. Uh, thanks for watching. Yes, we are playing on Board Game Arena, but it is in, I think technically it's alpha, is so, it? So, there's something changed at the start of the year. You can play this if someone in, in alpha invites you. Oh, oh, interesting. They've changed this because obviously games like this are very hard to play. 
Yeah. So, yeah, there, there's a lot of complaints, I think. Well, they, they made it harder to become alpha tester, and then people started complaining that there was no one to play these games with or review these games. And the, the reason for having more, should, in theory, the more games that come and the more people you should have more alpha testers. But they were trying to make it hard for people to do it. Mm. Um, at the end of every game, you're also going to be asked to leave your feedback. And I think you can't give a proper um, stamp of approval until you've played it three times. We won't even even have played it once. This is slow. Yeah. But I think the game's slow. I mean, if playing it in real life, it doesn't go much quicker than this. It, it does. <laughs> it's a lot quicker. I could play it. Uh, we used to play like hand after hand after hand of this style of game in college. Maybe it's a bit... This is this, this has definitely got more to it than the, the version I played. Hmm. Uh... Uh, yeah, so Julian, it's like a beta version of the game. It should, once it's been approved, go on to Board Game Arena properly, and then everyone will be able to play it. Uh, nine, I think we just let Dave carry on playing his cards. Yeah, so Paul kind of Paul kind of uh, hurt his hands by helping me get to teach her. He played his uh, ace early, didn't he? Yeah. I think it was the right thing to do. Oh yes, yeah, so you get an extra hundred, don't you, Steve? Yeah, and if they if Paul comes second here, we get two hundred for the game. No, we don't. don't yeah, we, we get two hundred for the game. Yeah, we do. And yeah, then so you get three hundred. So we get three hundred. So yeah, we win. We win by ten if Paul comes second. Do my best, but it's not looking good. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. Yeah, with yeah, Jonathan so on lead, Julian's and two just cards left in his hand. How we're able to play the game when it's not available generally? Um, uh, so basically, to be a reviewer, they, they might have changed the requirements, but to be a reviewer, you need to play a certain amount of different games in Board Game Arena. I think the total's now. It might even be fifty. I think it was. It was 30 when I did. It was 40 when these three guys did it. 40, yeah. And it might now be even 50. I think there was a bit of outrage at the reviewers. So you need to play a certain number of individual games. At the very top on Board Game Arena, there might be a section called Reviewer or on the front page maybe reviews. The other thing you need is 500, or at least that was the case when Paul got that. You need 500 games of any type. So it could be, you could play 450 games of one thing and then 50 games of, 51 offs and whatever, and that's fine. So you need to have played a lot on Board Game Arena so that you're familiar with the different mechanics and games on offer. And then you basically apply to be a reviewer. I think you also need to be a member for uh, three months, is it? Like a premium member? No, I mean, you need no, to have just... been on the site for three months. Okay. Yeah. Which I imagine if you've hit the first two, you probably are. Well, ironically, that was the last one for me to hit. Uh, yeah, weirdly. Um, and then, and then, what you do is you apply to be a reviewer. They make you review, and you get a list of all the games in alpha um, testing. And these are the ones that are, uh, are reviewers only. And so basically, they're there, and you're basically a bug checker. And you're you're being you're not trying to be uh, overly critical, but you're about trying to say it'd be nice if you could do this. This didn't work very well. This bit's good. I didn't like that or whatever. And then right. the person or people in charge of of coding the game can take the feedback on board. And then when enough people have stamped it with a, I think this game's good enough to go to um, beta testing, which is when the, the general public will play, um, then uh, it will do so. But obviously with games like this, where you need exactly four players and this isn't really very good turn based because you've got to remember what's gone mm -hmm. um, a lot in this game. So this is the sort of game you have. This is really difficult to actually get reviewed because to get four people, I mean, we've been playing for, I don't know, two hours? Probably an hour and a half after rules explanation. It's it's quarter to 11, Jonathan. Didn't we start at quarter past okay. nine? Oh, we started, yeah, quarter to nine, quarter to eight. Yeah, okay, fine. So an hour and a half, maybe, but we're, we're not even halfway. Yeah. Uh, although we haven't been calling teacher and grand teacher much. Uh, I basically called teacher as soon as I had a bomb. <laughs> But it, was, it helped I went first, and it helped I had a, a straight of eight cards as well. Yes. 
I did get past the bump. Dave. Eve's got it. Nice uh, work. But this is fine because Paul should come third here. I should, yeah. He should do. Well, it depends what his last depends card is. Yeah, last single card is. But I imagine you play a, Dave plays a single card. Oh. Good. <laughs> we, well, that's, this is good. This is great. Yeah. Because now Paul just plays a pair and then a whatever. Or a three of a kind, I imagine you've got. Uh, so, kind in a single. Oh, I have to give the trick away. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Thank you. I thought I thought you could keep the trick and then just pass it to the other team. Pass play to the other team. I would. Uh... That's what you said, no, right? No, yeah, it's what I said. I was wrong. Dave Johnson clarified it. Sorry. Julian, okay. Steve Julian saying that. Um... He's not seen the game before. He's bought quite a lot of games on the strength of your reviews at the Dice Cup. What's his favourite game? You got oh. a favourite game? We'll see. Right, so uh, we are actually going to call it a night there. Uh, oh, oh, God, I got Dave's, a great Dave's, hand too. <laughs> Dave scored negative five on that game, so we actually scored a hundred. We scored two hundred and five points there. Oh, so we did. Oh yeah, that's right. So we managed to win in the end, although it's a lot closer now than it was. Right. I, I don't, yeah, I don't. What, what was your last card, Jonathan? Uh, Paul, Paul's called Grand Teachu. Paul, Paul's called Grand Teachu. Yeah, Grand Teachu. I am the first one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, well. That's his Dave. As, oh, both of us. I mean, Interesting. Yeah, we should call it. Come on. Yeah, so anyway, yeah, I, I can't I can't play the hand, but uh, I, I was dealt a bomb of tens, so that's... <laughs> wow, okay. Well, that, I'll tell you what, if there's ever a hand to call Grand Teacher, that's it, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Julian says they keep changing his favourite game according to what keeps arriving, <laughs> but he likes Great Western Trail, I think. Yep. Uh, the more I play that, the more I like game. it. I just, uh, it's, it's sort of a deck builder, and I don't like deck builders, so... Oh my gosh, Dune is ridiculously good. I've I've been playing it nonstop. I finally oh. got my copy arrived. This is the new. Uh, this is the new version. This is the new the one. It's, it's yeah. it is it, work. It is deck building, but it's mostly a worker placement game. Like it's both, yeah. but it's it's mostly worker placement. And I've heard it's amazing, but the artwork like just doesn't. I I think it's really ugly. Yeah. It, well. It's fine. I, I I don't even see it anymore. But oh my god, I'm like I, 25 I'm sure games in now. <laughs> if I if I played it, I'd probably love it. But yeah, oh, it's it, it's so good. Are you playing it solo, or you you find it Mo cool? mostly solo? Yeah, I've played a couple of multiplayer games, but like the vast majority of those are solo. Like it plays pretty quick, right? I can play a solo game in an hour or less. Wow. Anyway, yeah, it's uh, it's really good. <laughs> oh, interesting. Okay, I have to check that one out. All right, are we going to leave this game now? Yeah, we're going to well, we're going to end the stream here. So, thanks very much if you've been watching. Um, and we're going to call it right now. We are going to be streaming on a Tuesday night regularly instead of a Wednesday night, if that makes any difference. Uh, I'm not quite sure what we're going to do. We're not going to play T2 every week by any means, but we're going to try a few different things and see what happens. If you have any requests, do let us know. All right. Good night. Yeah. Bye.